Well, hi there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. I'm going to be doing some short tutorial videos, kind of introducing John Tiller's battle games to people out there that are unfamiliar with them, or maybe are familiar, but just haven't looked at them for a while, or haven't thought about them, or just uh, give you some updated information and kind of also talk about things that might help you uh, learn how to play the game and uh, just kind of an overview of uh, the system and and just uh, in general kind of just overview for those people that are looking for something out there and uh, want to maybe uh, investigate uh, what kind of um, game systems John Diller has. So this is uh, going to be the introductory video. We're going to just talk about what do you get when you order a John Diller game. Well, what do you get is tons and tons of scenarios you get just oodles and oodles of scenarios to so purchase this we're specifically talking about uh, panzer battles this is battle for normandy here all kinds of different scenarios here different sizes uh different lengths of scenarios you can see this one's uh, only 12 turns long it's only eight turns long this is 18 so lots of variety in there this is only six turns long and of course uh, different sizes as well. This is a brigade level one. This is a regimental one. Uh, this is a corps one. So different size of games and um, just a lot of variety. Uh, tons and tons of different uh, replayability uh, with your different scenarios in there. Uh, ranging in different sizes, different scopes, um, how many counters are going to be involved in a, a different scenario. So, uh, tons and tons of gameplay. Oh, uh, cancel. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't want to switch out. Thanks. Thanks, anyways. Oh, too late. I switched. <laughs> Didn't mean to switch. Um, the other thing you get is you get a very detailed. Uh, let's see, map. Here we go. Uh, no. Okay. So you get a very detailed map. Uh, we're going to zoom all the way out. So this is the farthest I can zoom all the way out. So this is zoomed in, this is zoomed out. And I'm just going to scroll along the uh, northern edge here of this map. And there's a short Cherbourg there. And you can see it's a very detailed map. It's huge and humongous. Now you're not using this whole map for all the different scenarios. This parts of these maps will just be cut out for different scenarios. Uh, but you can see there is just a huge, massive, beautiful, detailed map that you get with each John Taylor game. Um, whether it's the uh, Panzer Battles, Panzer Campaigns, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, uh, Napoleonic Battles, Civil War Battles, no matter which system you buy, you get detailed, uh, huge, beautiful map. With tons and tons of scenarios to play on that map. Of course, like I said, uh, some specific scenarios are just going to take you know this section of the map from he maybe from here to here, you know, and cut that section out, and that might be the only section you're playing for that one turn or for that one scenario. I mean, now you can see we're still scrolling to the east here. We finally made it all the way over there, and of course, if we start heading downwards, of course. Below the Sword Beach here, we're going to get to the city of Khan. There's Khan. And we'll just scroll down towards the bottom so you can see how massive and big this thing is. It is just beautifully big and huge and humongous and awesome and gorgeous. Just love it. Just absolutely love it. And like I said, no matter uh, which game system or which map uh, you're, you're uh, interested in, you get uh, a beautiful detailed map like that. Uh, the other thing you get is uh, you get tons and tons of things to play with. And that's specifically when we're talking about war games, we're talking about counters, of course. We're going to go to the German counter viewer here. And doesn't matter. Nope. Uh, so you can see here uh, just oodles and oodles of different counters. We're going to zoom in here to take a look at uh, what we have. Here, for example, is the Stab Panzerlier Division Headquarters. Here's all the units that go under that one. Um, let's scroll over here, see what we got over here. 
Here's the uh, Stab Grit Regiment headquarters, the units that are involved with that. Just tons and tons of counters and scenarios and maps and all kinds of things. Uh, not only that, but each game system, each game comes with its own campaign notes, um, which is basically the designer went through and gives you lots of details about the battle and talks about the different units, just shows you pictures of the different maps, the order of battle, why the units were there, what were they doing, how what's their com composition made up of, um, you know, what was their morale like, what were they thinking, what was their goals, what was their tasks, I mean, you name it, just pages and pages of detailed information that you can get into and read and digest and find out more about this actual battle. Just wonderful and beautiful things. Here is the uh, the old graphics for the old system and then we can compare that with the new. And we're gonna talk about graphics in just a minute here, but uh, let's just finish scrolling through this document here. Maps, detailed information about the different scenarios. Uh, the different campaign games. Uh, you can just see just tons and tons of different pages here. That's uh, just gives you lots of information. When you buy a John Taylor game, you don't just get, okay, here's your scenario, go to it. Uh, he gives you the details and the research and the development and the hows and the whys and uh, what's happening behind the scene and you know, all kinds of detailed information that you can spend time looking at. And I would talk about the different campaign games. Here's the um, second armored division from the U.S. sectors and the different scenarios that are involved in that campaign. Uh, so, so just tons and tons of stuff that you can get into. Uh, so when you buy a John Taylor game, you're not just buying just a regular, um, you know, war game that's going to give you a couple scenarios and uh, uh, you know a, a little bit of gameplay. We're talking about uh, hundreds and hundreds of hours that you can delve into and find out and and investigate and try different strategies and replayability and uh, play one side, play the other side. Uh, uh, you can play head to head as well. So I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can for you guys. I'm just giving you kind of a broad overview. We talked about graphics a little bit earlier. When Panzer Battles came out, they updated with the new system. Uh, I think it started coming out in 2014. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But it was around that time. And they came out with the new game system with the new graphics and the new uh, icons and the new unit counters and and uh, unit cards and much better look and everything and it's so much better than the old obviously as you can see it makes it so much easier to play on the eyes so much easier to understand the information on the maps if uh, you looked at John Taylor games just maybe even five years ago and stuff things have changed so much since then uh, they've actually started going back and updating all of the Panzer campaign games and you know there's like 20 of them in there in that system uh, with the new unit counters and the new maps and the new um, unit cards and all the updated looks, new sounds, beautiful new sounds, absolutely um, uh, great sounds as well. And uh, just updated the systems a little bit with a few rule tweaks here and there and uh, Really now, it's it's they're a much different game uh, than they were just like I said five or six years ago. So when you buy, um, you know, not all the games are up to date with all of the the new graphics and such. Uh, but when we're talking specifically about Panzer Battles and Panzer Campaigns, uh, all the East Front Panzer Campaigns have been updated, and of course, all the Panzer Battles are using the new stuff. Uh, the First World War. First World War campaign system uses the updated graphics as well, and they're even updating the Civil War battles with the new release of um, uh, the Civil War battle, Petersburg, St. Petersburg. Petersburg is what it is, and um, 
They're now going back and updating some of the Civil War battles with some new graphic icons as well, some new maps, uh, new sounds, and stuff like that. So if you haven't looked at John Taylor for a while, I would highly recommend you check it out. You go to johntaylorsoftware.com, and you can get all the detailed information about the different systems. Um, when we're talking about systems, though, when we're talking about learning a game, uh, the systems transfer well between one another. The Panzer Battles and Panzer Campaign systems, even though they play slightly different because they're different uh, uh, amounts of units in the, on the, each of the counters and, and the, the time frame and the, the distance bet, uh, each hex is, is slightly different. So obviously some, there are some variations there. But they all use the same morale. They use fatigue. They use, you know, when I want to move my units in travel mode, um, you know, they use the same basics for all of the game systems. And not only that, but once you understand and play one of the games in the system, like Panzer Campaigns, for example, and you have 20 other games that you can buy, that's 20 games, and you already know the system. So... This is just kind of a broad overview stroke for you people that are not familiar with John Taylor or maybe haven't looked at John Taylor for a while. Kind of talking about uh, some of the things that they've updated and changed and, and uh, the, what you get when you purchase a John Taylor game. I'm hoping to bring you some more videos like this one, uh, talking about uh, things that are going to make things easier for you to, to actually play the game if you purchase it. Um, you can also, I should mention, uh, now that it just popped in my head, you can download a free demo for both the Panzer Battles and Panzer Campaign game systems. You download a free demo, it gives you a couple scenarios in each one of them. Uh, it does come with all of the, uh, uh, the user manual and the campaign notes and everything, so you can just uh, download it. You can read over the game's um, user manual and you can look at the system yourself. It's completely free. You can do that, um, uh, you know, from the website johntillersoftware.com, and I highly recommend you do that um, because there is a lot to like about this gaming system. It's not perfect. There are things that I would like to be updated or changed. I'm not saying that everything is um, is uh, perfect, but what I am saying is. For what you're investing in, you get a ton for what you spend. You get a ton of scenarios, different sizes, different unit counter depth. You get a detailed, huge, massive map. You have hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay. You have an updated look to the graphics. Uh, you have a detailed uh, campaign note manual that gives you all the information that you could probably ever need when you're looking at the different game, uh, different gaming systems, uh, and you get a lot for what you're purchasing. So, in the next video, we're going to talk about uh, the actual uh, looking at the actual gameplay, and uh, you know, if you're interested in this system, what does it do, and how do you do certain things, and uh, then hopefully we'll uh, look at uh, how to make things a little more easier and manageable. Uh, I think there's probably some people out there that are like me that purchased John Taylor software games and started playing and moving things around and we got totally smoked and we're like, well, this game's stupid. I don't understand anything. And if you don't understand and you don't comprehend the game mechanics and the functionality of the game and you're constantly uh, not able to play the game, and you get mad and frustrated, it's not going to be worth your investment in time. So I'm hoping to kind of uh, show you guys some tricks and tips and things that might uh, might not be known by some people out there, some some newbies uh, or people that aren't um, spent as much time reading through the manual and just they want to just play and, and move counters around. So hopefully I can help you with that as well in the next video. But I do appreciate everyone's uh, thoughts and comments. If you have something, let me know. But I um, highly, highly recommend you go to johntillersoftware.com and uh, check out what they have to offer. All kinds of different um, 
uh, games for you there. So uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you guys next time.